Welcome back to Let's Play Ghostbusters. I'm Burning Dog Face, and this is another supplemental episode dedicated, once again, to checking the Ghostbusters voicemail. We have 11 messages to get through, so let's get started. Your performance is so barely adequate. Are you sure you don't want to hold on to your amateur status because you can? Is that Peck? You have ten new messages. Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters! Woo! You cats rock, man! Number one fan right here have been certified rock on, Busters! Somebody owes me nine grand to replace the awning that a bunch of ghost crap ripped off the building? Call me back. Seriously. You have nine. Hi, my nephew says it's, what, uh, culturally insensitive to try to banish the spirits of Native Americans during Thanksgiving. Is it okay if I ask them not to sit in my stuffing? I'd say that's probably okay. What do I know? Ask, uh, Dr. Spangler. No, wait, ask Ray. You have eight new messages. Who busts the Ghostbusters? <laughs> I believe that was a play on the phrase who watches the Watchmen, which while generally associated with the comic book of the same name is, I believe, just a general phrase that's been used for a long time to make sure that those in power have someone keeping them in check. <laughs> hey, if it makes you happy, man. You have six new messages. Uh, hello, Dr. Spengler. This is Gilgamer Electronic Supply. We have all the parts you requested, but a representative from the mayor's office, a Mr. Peck, has recently informed us that all invoices from you must be approved through his office first. We called him about your order, and he just laughed, then hung up. For all we know, he's still laughing. You have five new messages. I was just calling because I was really confused about something. Me and my buddies have been going fly fishing for years, and we never once had any trouble crossing the streets. You have four New messages. Hi, this is Speedy Delivery Pizza. We deliver anywhere, anytime. But we don't have any drivers willing to deliver to you, so you gotta come pick up your own. I got two extra large sausage and shrooms and a mega veg waiting. Have a speedy delivery day. They're gonna make me do that, aren't they? Sound the new guy. You have three new messages. Hi, I hope I have the right number. I'm trying to find Ray's occult bookstore. The number there is out of service. Uh, Volperg is not just coming up, and I had some party favors on order. If you know anything about it, please let me know. We have an important guest coming up from the deep south, and nobody wants to disappoint him. Reach me at Westchester Coven number. I want to say that means they've invited the devil. Actually, glancing up here at the table, it occurs to me, I would totally not mind being the guy to go pick up the pizza if they let me take the car. You have two new messages. Professor Jones, trying to find out information on the whereabouts of the Vigo painting. Do you have any idea what's happened to it? It's a priceless historical treasure. It belongs in a museum. Dr. Jones. <laughs> well played. Well played. Oh. I was wondering where that one would end up. Uh, 
Oh, uh... For the record, uh, Ray's Occult Books was a little corner store that, uh... that, uh, Ray started in between Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 when they, uh, lost all their business and the company nearly went under. Yeah, the beginning of the second movie, since, uh... Nobody believes they're, uh, real anymore. The, uh, Ghostbusters have been reduced to doing kids' birthday parties. I think there was even a... Thank you for appearing at my birthday sign over here. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's, uh, to Uncle Egon. Well, it was somewhere. Okay then. And if I hit it again, it will just say I have no new messages, and then replay the first one on that list. So, let's get back into position, and then, uh, cut back to the video I was in the middle of. What is it, 21? I think it was 21. So, with that in mind, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghostbusters. Later!